Hi everybody, Mark here with Rio Grande. Here with a little video on how to set up 3M bristle discs and um, I'm gonna go through the steps on how to set them up in a proper way so you can get some really great polishing going. Uh, first of all, there's a bunch of different kits and uh, they come in different sizes. The smallest being the 9 16th size. As you can see here, it's really tiny. Uh, 3 quarter inch size, which is probably one of the most popular right here. And then a large one inch disc right here. And these are all used for, for use with your flex shaft. And um, they work really good that way. What they are is a rubber that's impregnated with an abrasive compound so that you don't have to use any kind of um, polishing compounds or muslin buffs or anything like that. And um, they work really, really great, but there are a few things that you need to know in order to install them correctly. The first, probably most important thing is that they need to be at least three layers deep or tall. The reason why is that these are really tiny and thin and um, they'll break off really quickly and, and uh, you'll go through them much quicker than if you actually installed at least three. You can install as many as six on there, so anywhere between three to six layers uh, is going to be the best. Except for the one inch right here, this is a little bit thicker material, so you want to install these anywhere from three or four typically layers. Any longer than that, more than that, and they'll be too long to, um, there'll be too much thickness there to install the screw. So just remember one inch, you want to do three to four layers. Anything smaller, you want three to six layers. And this is how you do it. So I'm going to take four layers here, like that. And I get all the bristles going in the same direction at this point. Then I'm going to take the screw from the screw mandrel and slip it through there. This is always the hardest part for me, just trying to line all these little things up. Just do one at a time. Okay, so now I got all three of them on there. And I'll go ahead and take the screw mandrel and just screw that in by hand. There's no sense, no need to take a screwdriver or anything like that and, and tighten it down that way. As you use these, these will tighten up a little bit. So this finger tie is good. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that the, the wheels will be spinning this way and that they'll lightly brush the top of your surface, whatever you're trying to polish. If they're installed wrong, what you'll notice is that the, the bristles will kind of want to bump and um, it'll be more of a grinding action actually. It won't feel, won't feel smooth or anything like that. And when that happens, the bristles start breaking off and you have to change out your bristles a lot more often. Uh, the one inches are a little bit different in that they have a larger hole. As you can see, this is about an eighth of an eighth inch hole. And so you're gonna need a bigger screw mandrel. But they're gonna go on there the same way. They're again, trying to make sure all the bristles are going in the same direction. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is screw that onto our mandrel like that. It's finger tight. And there again, we want to make sure that they're going to be just lightly brushing the surface of whatever we're trying to polish like that. So they do come in different kits and I highly recommend getting a kit to start with. One of the reasons why is I almost never can remember what color is what grit or what coarseness it is. And the kits really explain that. Like for in the three quarter inch kit, the yellow is 80 grit. And um, see the light green is one micron, which is the, the finest grit. So if you wanna to go to a high polish, you probably use that light green color. And let's say if you have some deep scratches, you might start with the red right here. And then from red to get to the light green, you have to go through all the different colors. You can't skip. So you need to go red, blue, pink, peach, green in order to get that high polish. And uh, the numbers uh, do coordinate, uh, the colors actually are coordinated. So the yellow in the one inch is also an 80 grit. And um, so it's pretty easy that way. One thing I do recommend is if you do get a kit, get lots of mandrels. As you can see, setting up just one of these is not real fun to do um, and if you just had one mandrel and went through all the polishing steps you'd be putting the blue on the pink on the peach on and then the green so if you have a lot of mandrels you can set one up in each color and just fly through the colors it actually goes by pretty quick so i hope that helps 
Uh, if you have any more questions, you can give us a call at 1-800-545-6566 or visit us online at riogrande.com. Thanks.